Mr. Chairman, when Dodd-Frank was enacted five years ago this month, uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren and President Obama promised Americans that this law would lift the economy, that their hard-earned money would be safer, that markets would be more stable, and that no one institution would threaten the safety and soundness of the global financial system. As we've seen this law implemented, it has left much to be desired. In large part, the 08 financial crisis was a result of federal financial regulators failing to do their job and their inability to anticipate the looming issues in the subprime mortgage market. Dodd-Frank rewarded incompetency with more responsibility. The law has created new areas of risk concentration, um, enshrined too big to fail institutions, made it more difficult for small banks to compete, and done damage to the economy that is still too difficult to quantify. The law of unintended consequences has never been more apparent than when we look at Dodd-Frank. The pursuit of financial stability has come at a cost. While the goal may be worthy, we must look at the collateral damage along the way and ask ourselves if we're going down the right path. Compliance burdens are crushing small institutions, and though banks may be better capitalized, we are now seeing negative market impacts stemming from these new regulations. Uh, the FSOC and Treasury Secretary Liu don't really want to admit that Dodd-Frank may be at the center of illiquidity that we're seeing in the bond market. With banks having to hold on to more capital and pulling out of market-making activities, these markets are left withering in the wake of Dodd-Frank and other international regulations. Another product of Dodd-Frank is the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, the CFPB, which was tasked with protecting consumers of financial products and services from discrimination. Ironically, it has the worst track record of all federal financial agencies of EEO complaints, proving the agency is inept at best or negligent at worst at protecting its own employees from discrimination and retaliation. Further, sources of small dollar credit products that millions of Americans rely upon are now in the crosshairs of the Bureau. The government knows best mentality. The nanny state mentality has gone too far. Americans are capable of choosing products and making decisions that they know are in their best financial interests. The CFPB is eliminating consumer freedom and imposing political agendas uh, that I just don't think uh, work, Mr. Chairman. This is the Gruber mentality uh, along with, uh, well, I'll go there later. I'll yield back. <laughs> Notwithstanding the fact the gentleman was on a roll, the time of the gentleman has expired. Uh, today we